G'day viewers, it's been a long time since you've seen me talk about anything about a SUP because I've had a full blown shoulder reconstruction. I'm over that now. So I haven't been on a SUP for around about eight months. So today I'm going to try and paddle up each of these three boards. And there's three very different boards and it's a good time to do it because I'm sort of, I'm, I'm sort of weak on power, weak on no, my balance, it's right back to where it is. So it'll be a really good test. And it's three different boards. I've got my trusty DC 710 by 21, 120 litres. Tips of scales about 7.3 kilos. Next one in the middle here is an inflatable, and it's a pretty nice board. Hey, so it's 78. It's the uh, Gong uh, Heat Crusader. So 78 by 21, and it's 132 liters. But it tips the scales at about 8.3. The reason for that is they have a massive carbon plate, which gives it rigidity. So the, the bulk of the weight is in the center of the board, so it's not a bad thing. Then we come up to this beautiful thing looking thing here, the uh, Duotone. So They've got the, um, this one's come in at 7.8. It's 22 and a half, a little bit wider, and it's a 135 litres. It's the lightest out of the lot. It tips the scales around about 6.7, 6.8. So for a production board, that's pretty damn amazing. So I'll go out, I'll try and uh, flat paddle each one of these up, and I'll, then I'll come back and give you a report on which one was easiest for me. And then after that, I'll go out and I'll chuck a wing ding on and just show you how easy these boards are to wing ding and just play around on and start. So. Watch this space, talk to you soon. Okay, I'm back in. It wasn't pretty, but I did manage to paddle all three boards up. And I was absolutely kidding myself that after eight months, I thought I could just jump on and do this. That was an absolute flogging. It was so hard. And uh, Jeremy Wilmot summed this up once and he said, you think you're a tough guy, you think you're a good paddler? Well, do sup down winding. Well, that's the same as trying to flat water start all these boards. So to give you a quick rundown, the 710, Okay, so what I did, I, what I say, a lap, I used to, you can see the red beacons. I'd go out, I'd come back in, i call that sort of one lap. I'd probably get two or three goes. So on the second lap, I got up on the 710. Um, then I went out on Fanatic on the 78, and that actually took quite a few laps, hey. So um, I, it's just that, you know, I hadn't done it for a while. I was readjusting to the board. The um, extra litres, uh, it's like 130, uh, 35 litres. Yeah, that sort of made it a little bit corky for me. But anyway, but once I was up in flight, you'll see in the video, it's the best one when I'm pumping. Uh, I actually felt the most settled on it. Now the gong, this thing was pretty tough. I said that was 7.8, it's not. It's 7.6 and it's 132 litres and it says it's 21. But when I was laying on it, it felt so narrow. It's like narrow like my prone board. So I measured it. So it's actually closer to 20. 
Um, I had a few fixing issues with the gong set up to the access side. So, but anyway, I got it up and I did pump it. Wasn't that pretty. Now, the reason I got the gong wasn't to replace any of these boards. It's because I like traveling. So it folds up so I can use it as a wingding board or I can use it as a sup, uh, sup paddle board downwind. But I have to say, standing on it, out of the three boards, the gong was the hardest to stand on. And I did say I was going to go for a wingding um, afterwards, but hey, the wind's up. I'm absolutely stuffed, so I've done enough. That's all you're getting, okay? So just reviewing it all again. So easiest to get up on was a harpoon, but once I was up and flying on the um, on the duotone, uh, that felt great. The gong, you know, it, it did its job. It was harder to get up on, but you know, if it's a traveling board, something to fold up, uh, all went really well. So I was on the uh, Axis 1300, and if you're going to use this wing, you need the high modulus mask, okay? Don't even worry about the alloy mask because it does flex a lot and you can actually really feel it. So anyway folks, hope you enjoyed it.